Tutorial 2, Part 3, Crystal Log of For 3 as a system, crystallography plane is represented by Muller indexes here. For 4 as a system, we use, yes, this one. Family of plane, which is defined by members having the same atomic arrangement, is uh, represented by the following notation. Notify the difference between these two uh, type of backheads. For for as a system, we use this one. Muller indices is represented by the reciprocal of the intersect of the plane with the coordinate axis. And Muller indices is this this one. If there is no intersection, um, therefore we will use zero because it is one of our infinity. For negative um, values of the same coordinate, uh, h bar, k bar, l bar, which is equivalent with h, k, l. However, the multiple of of a uh, plane c h, c k, c l is not equal to h, k, l. Unlike uh, the crystallography direction. And we also have a, a conversion formula which we can use the free, which can use can convert planes in three S's to four S's. XYZ uh, to HKIL, we have the following equation. So how do we draw the crystallographic planes? We first set the origin. And we usually choose the corner that is closest to the plane. Uh, yes, the method of setting such origin is same as uh, we have mentioned in crystallographic directions. Then we find the intercepts of the plane with the coordinate axis. The Muller index will be the equation. We also uh, define one thing which called the interplanar spacing, which is the shorter distance between the equivalent and parallel crystallographic planes in a unit cell. D is equal to A over uh, square root H, H square plus K squared plus L square for a cubic system. You can see here, CUC1 plane uh, is reference to the origin at point O and there is other equivalent CU one planes. It is because um, for one unit cell here, the CU one plane is here, but because we know that inside our crystal, the unit cell are all the same. For this unit cell, the CU one plane will be here. For this unit cell, the CU one plane will be here, and therefore we will have the CU one plane. Uh, as a parallel uh, distribution here, uh, all over uh, from top to, to the down. Example, draw one to one bar crystallographic planes on the following uh, cubic unit cell. And for the step one, it is the same with the crystallographic directions. Determine the origin and set the coordinate system. And we again set it here. Step two, we define determine the intersection of the plane at the axis. One to one implies that the intersection of the planes of on x axis is one over one. The reciprocal of one is still equal to one. Of the reciprocal of two is one over two. The reciprocal of negative uh, one bar, uh, it is uh, still one bar, which is uh, equal to negative one x equal to 1 is here, the intersection of the plane with the x-axis is here. The intersection of uh, the plane with the y-axis is 1 over 2 is here, and the intersection of uh, set axis with the plane is negative 1, the falsely set, set, set direction is here, the negative uh, set axis direction is here, therefore, negative 1 on set axis is here. We can check the correctness of the answer we have drawn. It is to draw the directional vector using the same coordinate system uh, from the planes. 
the vectors will be the normal vector of the thing. That means this vector, this red vector, will be parallel to the thing. And such relation will only apply for cubic system. Because for cubic system, this the length of these all three sides are same and they are all orthogonal. Example two, draw one one zero plane uh, in three axis uh, coordinate system and convert the coordinate to four axis system format. Uh, uh, for first method, we first draw the plane in three axis system, and then we convert it into four axis. And obviously, we have the following thing: we first set up the x y z uh, coordinate coordinate, and we get the such plane. Um, the x uh, coordinate is uh, 1, the y coordinate is 1 because the intersection, and the set coordinate is 0 because the intersection is, uh, there is no intersection between the set axis and the plane. And then we use the conversion formula, and it is quite straightforward, and you just uh, directly plug in the all values, and then we get the following, uh, following coordinate coordinates for four axis system, which is 1, 1, Two bar and zero. However, we have another method. We first convert it to four four axes, and then we draw the plane in the four axes system. And we already have uh, the coordinate uh, in the last slide. We just put in the conversion formula, and we observe the intercept of the plane uh, with other especially the negative i axis because we already have the intersection for hk l axis and the i axis will be negative 1 over 2 that means the coordinate for it will be the equal of the intersection which is uh, 1 over negative 1 over 2 which is the 2 bar therefore the answers is equivalent example 3 Find all members in one CO CO families in FCC type of unicell. Again, we set the coordinate system first. Uh, this time we set it here. We can see that one CO CO is a red plane. The x intersection will be 1, and y intersection, there is no interaction uh, between y, -S y -S -S of the uh, and the plane and between the set axis and the plane. And obviously, our outer, our outer surfaces of the cube have the same atomic configuration. Therefore, CO1, CO, and CO, CO1 are also the member of um, the 1, CO, CO family. CO1, CO is the green plane here, and the green plane behind. And CO, CO1 is the blue plane here, and the blue plane uh, behind. And also there is another red plane behind here, and they are all the members of one zero zero. Because if you uh, see the atomic arrangement, they are all constituted by these four atoms at the corner and the one central atom. Planar density. Planar density is defined as number of atoms centered on that plane over the area of the plane. Just like the its counterpart in the linear system, the linear density, uh, planar density, we only count the, count the atom if the atom is centered on the plane. If it is not centered, but it passes through the plane, we still don't count it. We only count one atom if there is a complete circle on the plane which is similar with linear density. If the air is half circle, we count the, count the atom as half. If there is uh, one quarter of the circle, we count the atom as one quarter, which is similar with it. We come to an example. What is the planar density of 111 in FCC type of unicell. Again, we need to first uh, draw out the planes. Uh, 
uh, in FCC uh, type of unit cell. FCC uh, means that phase center cubic system, and which is uh, represented by the following graph here. We can notice right, that there is a uh, atom centered on each face phases of the of the uh, cubic unit cell, and therefore the number of atoms on one 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 plane, which is the plane here represented by the red triangle, will be equals to the uh, two, because th this uh, there is one over six, there is one over six, there is one over six. And there is one over two. There is one over two. There is one over two. two uh, uh, number of unit, uh, uh, number of atom, and the total number will be two. Uh, on the one 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 thing. The area of the thing. We can calculate using the sine formula. Is equal to the side length, which is four r. Here is one r. Here is two r, and here is one r. Square because there is the, the, this length is also two, uh, four out and such triangle is uh, equilateral triangle and times one over two sine 60, 60 degrees 60 degrees here because it is equilateral and then we obtain uh, such here and the planar density will be two over four four times square root three out two out square. And the, and the final value will be 1 over